The West Philippine Sea is a vital waterway for global trade, a potential treasure trove of natural resources, and a flashpoint in the escalating rivalry between the United States and China. For the Philippines, a nation of islands with a proud maritime heritage, the West Philippine Sea belongs to the Filipino people. Yet China's increasingly assertive actions pose a direct challenge to this assertion. The struggle for control of the West Philippine Sea is a microcosm of the broader geopolitical forces reshaping the 21st century. The incident at Second Thomas Shoal in August 2023 brought tensions in the West Philippine Sea to a boil. A Philippine resupply mission was harassed and blocked by Chinese Coast Guard vessels. Water cannons were deployed and the world watched as the two sides engaged in a tense standoff. The question remains, how can the Philippines effectively counter China's growing assertiveness and safeguard its interests? To understand China's actions in the West Philippine Sea, one must delve into the complex tapestry of motivations driving its behavior. This region, known for its strategic importance and rich resources, has become a focal point of international tension and geopolitical maneuvering. China's claim is rooted in historical maps and documents asserting sovereignty over a vast swathe of the South China Sea. These historical claims date back centuries, with China referencing ancient voyages and records to justify its stance. The Nine Dash Line, a demarcation line used by China, encompasses almost the entire South China Sea, overlapping with the territorial claims of several Southeast Asian nations. Beyond historical claims, China's actions are driven by economic considerations, including the region's vital trade routes and potential reserves of oil and natural gas. The South China Sea is one of the busiest maritime corridors in the world, with trillions of dollars worth of trade passing through annually. Control over this region not only ensures economic benefits, but also secures energy resources critical for China's growing economy. Finally, China's assertiveness is part of a larger strategic calculus aimed at securing its maritime approaches and challenging the United States' dominance. By building military installations on artificial islands and increasing naval patrols, China aims to project power far beyond its shores. This military buildup is seen as a direct challenge to the U.S. presence in the Pacific, leading to a complex dance of power and influence in the region. By establishing a strong presence, China seeks to enhance its regional influence and reshape the regional security architecture. Diplomatic efforts, combined with military might, are part of China's broader strategy to assert its role as a dominant regional power. Through a combination of economic incentives and strategic partnerships, China is working to create a new order in the Asia-Pacific, one where its interests are paramount and its influence unchallenged. The Philippines faces a daunting challenge, how to protect its sovereign rights in the West Philippine Sea without risking a wider conflict. This region, rich in natural resources and strategic importance, has been a flashpoint for tensions, particularly with China asserting its expansive claims. The answer lies in a multi-pronged strategy combining diplomacy, lawfare and strategic partnerships. Each of these elements plays a crucial role in ensuring that the Philippines can navigate these troubled waters effectively. Diplomacy remains the cornerstone, engaging in dialogue with China and regional forums like ASEAN. Through continuous diplomatic efforts, the Philippines seeks to build consensus and foster cooperation among neighboring countries, aiming for a peaceful resolution to the disputes. The landmark 2016 ruling by the Permanent Court of Arbitration invalidated China's Nine Dash Line claim, a major victory for the Philippines. This ruling not only affirmed the Philippines' rights, but also set a legal precedent for other nations facing similar challenges. The Philippines continues to leverage this ruling to rally international support. By engaging with the international community, the Philippines aims to uphold the rule of law in maritime disputes and garner backing from other nations, strengthening strategic partnerships, particularly with the United States, bolsters the Philippines' defensive capabilities. Joint military exercises and defense agreements enhance the readiness and interoperability of the Philippine armed forces, ensuring they are well prepared to defend their maritime interests. 
Beyond international alliances, the Philippines also focuses on building local resilience, training and equipping the Coast Guard, supporting local fishermen, and engaging coastal communities are vital components of this comprehensive strategy. By empowering its citizens and enhancing local capabilities, the Philippines aims to create a robust defense against any potential threats. Environmental conservation is another critical aspect. Protecting the rich marine biodiversity of the West Philippine Sea not only preserves natural resources, but also strengthens the Philippines' claims to these waters. Sustainable practices and conservation efforts ensure that future generations can continue to benefit from this vital region. In charting a course through these troubled waters, the Philippines remain steadfast and resolute. With a balanced approach that combines diplomacy, legal action, strategic partnerships, local resilience and environmental stewardship, the nation is determined to protect its sovereignty and secure a peaceful and prosperous future for its people. The United States plays a crucial role in the evolving security dynamics of the West Philippine Sea. Its strategic presence in this region is not just a matter of military might, but also a symbol of its commitment to maintaining peace and stability. The U.S. Navy's operations here are a testament to its resolve in ensuring that international waters remain free and open for all nations. The U.S. Navy's presence in the Western Pacific serves as a visible deterrent against aggression. By patrolling these waters, the Navy sends a clear message to any potential aggressors that any hostile actions will be met with a formidable response. This constant vigilance helps to prevent conflicts before they can even begin, maintaining a balance of power in the region. The U.S. Air Force's bases in the region ensure rapid response in times of crisis. These bases are strategically located to provide quick support to allies and to respond to any threats that may arise. The presence of advanced military aircraft and well-trained personnel means that the U.S. can project power and provide assistance at a moment's notice, reinforcing its role as a stabilizing force. The U.S. consistently calls on China to respect international law and engage in meaningful dialogue. Through diplomatic channels, the United States advocates for peaceful resolutions to disputes and emphasizes the importance of adhering to established international norms. This diplomatic effort is crucial in preventing misunderstandings and fostering cooperation between nations. The U.S.-Philippines alliance, underpinned by the Mutual Defense Treaty, provides a security guarantee for the Philippines. This treaty not only strengthens military cooperation, but also reassures the Philippines of U.S. support in times of need. Joint military exercises and training programs enhance the capabilities of both nations' armed forces, ensuring they are prepared to face any challenges together. This ironclad security guarantee emboldens the Philippines to stand up for its rights. With the backing of the United States, the Philippines can assert its sovereignty and protect its interests in the West Philippine Sea. This partnership is a cornerstone of regional security, promoting stability and peace in an area fraught with tensions. The U.S.-Philippines Alliance is a deep-rooted partnership forged in history. The relationship dates back to the late 19th century, marked by cooperation and conflict. Despite complexities, the two nations share a commitment to democracy, freedom, and the rule of law. During World War II, American and Filipino soldiers fought side by side, forging an unbreakable bond. The Alliance has evolved, encompassing economic cooperation, development assistance, and people-to-people -people exchanges. The two nations collaborate on counter-terrorism, maritime security, disaster relief, and humanitarian assistance. The rising tensions in the West Philippine Sea have ignited a fierce debate within the Philippines. Some advocate for a more assertive stance against China, believing strength is the only language China understands. Others prioritize diplomacy and dialogue, fearing conflict would devastate the Philippine economy. The government must balance defending its sovereign rights with maintaining a stable relationship with China. It is a delicate balancing act, requiring deft diplomacy and strategic acumen. Building domestic consensus on this sensitive issue is crucial. Navigating the West Philippine Sea dispute requires a commitment to finding a peaceful solution. The international community has a crucial role in supporting the Philippines and other claimant states. ASEAN has been negotiating with China to develop a code of conduct for the South China Sea. 
The international community should support ASEAN's efforts and encourage China to engage constructively. Countries like the United States, Japan and Australia should voice their support for the Philippines. The dispute in the West Philippine Sea is a microcosm of the broader struggle between upholding a rules-based international order and undermining it. The international community has a vested interest in ensuring disputes are resolved peacefully. The principles of UNCLOS, including freedom of navigation, are essential for global peace and prosperity. The response should create a win-win scenario, respecting all parties' interests. The international community must support the Philippines in upholding its sovereign rights. By standing together, the international community can ensure the rule of law prevails. The future of the West Philippine Sea hangs in the balance. The Philippines has shown resilience in defending its sovereign rights. By combining diplomacy, lawfare and strategic partnerships, the Philippines seeks a peaceful solution. China faces a choice, continue assertiveness or embrace cooperation. The international community must support the Philippines and promote dialogue and cooperation. The story of the West Philippine Sea is far from over. It is a story of courage, resilience, and the struggle between cooperation and conflict. Keep asking questions and engaging in informed discussions about the region's challenges and opportunities. Subscribe for more amazing content. Keep wondering. You have questions in your soul, ready to learn in every path.